welcome back to the allotment. Um, firstly, I'm going to apologise. I haven't done an update in a while. Um, I kind of got busy with life. <laughs> Why is it whenever I come out, somebody starts cutting something? Anyway. Yeah, so we kind of went off and got married, me and David. Um, and with day job, with trying to keep on top of the allotment and everything, I just kind of didn't get to film anything. So apologies. Um, we are going to get better now. Now I don't have anything to stress and worry about. Yay. Anyway, allotment. So strawberries. We've had quite a few strawberries actually this year. We ended up putting the net over. In fact, that was the last thing that I said about is that we might have done a net, which we did. Um, we've put a crossbar frame on and then covered it all with netting. So then all we have to do is down here, you will see we have some screws. All we're going to do, take the netting off the screws and we can get in. So that's all we've kind of done. Uh, we've had quite a few strawberries off the plants. I don't know if we've got any in there ready. Uh, I know we've got some flowers there, so we have got some on the on the uh, on the old go. Uh, the fig tree is the fig tree. I can't see any figs on it, but uh, we did get some last year, which is nice. Um, we left our lettuce a little bit too long, so that has bolted. But the spring onions are still there, so we will be. Um, eating them the asparagus is um up so because we put the asparagus in this year we can't take any this year i think next year we can take like a handful um but it's going to be like three four years before we can actually start eating it to allow it to establish um those are the old strawberry plants and they did give us a few strawberries which was nice um the peach tree which is which is got a little bit of the leaf fungus again but actually not bad at all for what i'm used to so i'm quite impressed with it um i think is this uh i need david here really to tell me <laughs> But yeah, we've got well the trees. No, they've they've not changed. Um, but we do have some blackberries. So this was a special type of blackberry bush that we bought that's supposed to give us blackberries on this year's canes. So hopefully So we've actually got some. We've had it for a couple of years now. It's the one in the middle, it's the one in the blue pot. Um so yes, that is good. We'll go around the bushes first before we go around the blueberries. Um tomatoes we've got some tomatoes going going ripe which is nice um I'm trying to think which way we did them we did some plum and some um cherry i think the cherries are this side and the plums are that side but i'll have to double check the plants um the Ah, oh, David's just appeared, he can tell me. <laughs> the plum tree died, so we have got a new one on the go for that one. The gooseberry bush. The gooseberry bush looks like it's being eaten. So we will have to look into that. Probably the birds, they keep eating everything this year. So we'll have to look into that. Something's been eating that. Ooh. David, that one and that one, what are they again? Almonds. Almonds, that's it, I can't remember the name. Um, blueberry bush is happy, blueberry bush is happy, blueberry bush is happy. That one has given us most of the blueberries off it already, so um, yes. And then unhappy blueberry bush. Uh, we don't know if it's died. Because it's not snapping when doing that. So I would suspect it's still alive. It's just not happy. Um, the <laughs> greenhouse has gone mental. Um, <laughs> so yes, there are a lot of cucumbers. There are a lot of cucumbers ready, to be fair. So yes, all of the cucumbers. In fact, those have probably gone over a bit. So we'll definitely have to start eating them. That is a giant cucumber back there. We have the watermelons, which are just like trailing all over the place. What? Oh, okay. The oh wow, that's that's grown. That is uh, that's a pepper plant. Um, 
we, we have some uh, we have some bell peppers the bell pepper plant's fallen over i'm just shouting to david wherever he's gone uh yeah the bell pepper plant's fallen over probably because of the weight of all the bell peppers but yes and we've got some down there as well oh, i'm so excited <laughs> And then watermelons. <laughs> it's like the first time I've seen it, but I've been down there ages. The melons have gone mental. They have like literally taken over. Um, we've got like little plants there, like little melons growing on it. So I haven't seen a big one yet, but I'm sure there's one hiding somewhere in here. So yes. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the 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 pepper plants fallen over. So we'll probably have to go out and sort that out. There's just sunflowers everywhere, by the way. Everywhere. Uh, right, so we have onions, which are all fallen over, so pretty much ready to uh, to take out and dry. I think we're going to do that next weekend, though. The pumpkins! <laughs> it's, it's, it's got a pumpkin on it, so I'm now happy. Um, so these were the new um, peas. Not very happy with the heat we've had, um, but... We'll leave them and see what they do. We've got some new bean plants. What bean plants were they? Speedies. Speedies. Um, and then what's in the front of that pot? Uh, pak choy and Swiss chard. Pak choy and Swiss chard. We've still got it covered because we can't trust the beds. Uh, bell pepper plants falling over. I think it's the weight of all the bell peppers on it. We have um cabbage they are all looking rather happy we have a lot of weeds actually that's uh ignore oh no actually they were radish <laughs> we forgot the radish <laughs> i just realized they were radish bugger i forgot about them right <laughs> bristle sprouts uh mixed in with some sunflowers um more pumpkins and then we do have a squash plant in here which i don't know if we've actually got any squashes on it um you can see a flower but i don't know if we've actually got any growing yet uh the cherry tree is done for the year so and then we've got oh we needed to put the trap out didn't we and we haven't so we've got uh the damson tree um, potatoes which are about done so next week we'll probably be digging those out um a lettuce that hasn't bolted um <laughs> we've got leeks see we we have been busy and we usually do so much more on top of this but uh yeah weddings take up time anyway carrots <laughs> uh then we've got the runner beans the first set of runner beans and then the other runner beans there that have just started sorry about that we've got um celery at the front which i think a lot of that might be ready i've just seen a massive bean over there oh and we've got raspberries but they're not ready yet they're all white at the moment excuse me raspberry plant <laughs> nearly fell over oh we've got beans what type of beans were these ones runners, runners. why are they so short strange Huh, they're happy. They're not. How weird. Um, which beans were these? Emerald. Emerald. And then like giant sunflowers. <laughs> we did not intend to grow any sunflowers this year. So we've got pak choy, Swiss chard. Swiss chard. But there is pak choy in here, isn't there? Is there not? No. Ah. Okay. Swiss chard. <laughs> well, there's rainbow Swiss chard and normal Swiss chard. Then we have um, Swede and we have kale and we have a very crushed up uh, sunflower. Um, and then we have broccoli, which is one of the reasons I'm down here today because uh, they need picking. So, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off the heads. And then just leave the bases because sometimes they do sprout out from the sides and then they'll get offshoots. Um, yeah, raspberry bushes have gone mental this year. Uh, although there is a lot of ivy in here, which is annoying because I don't like ivy. Anyway, sweet corn. 
all the sweet corn. And then we do have some beetroot at the front. And then the currant bushes. So black currant, but we've taken all the currants off. White currants, we actually got some white currants this year, which is exciting. So we actually got to try some. And then around here, you will see red currants. I was picking some yesterday. I got a lot. Um, but yeah, there's still some in here that aren't quite ready yet. So um, can you see them through there? Just about. So yeah, this in fact, I'll go around the back. It's easier to see around the back. It's quite hard to pick them from front. And then apple tree. I'll show you the better currants in a minute. Apple trees. Bless you, apple trees. So we've got lots and lots of apples. Round the back we go. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. So there's a lot in there that aren't quite ready yet. So I was going to leave them for a little bit. Um, and let them ripen slightly. So yeah, and then uh, I've just seen there are some black currants in there that aren't quite ripened yet as well, but I did take all of the white currants. So yes, that's about it. <sighs> Hopefully I will be a little bit more on top of uh, updates now so that we don't have to worry about planning stuff. So yes, I'm gonna leave it there for now. And I will say thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in another update.